Hello Kido, Sir ES here, and for this video, we're going to talk about the first part of electric motor, the magnetic effect of a current. <laughs> Let's have a short recall. When a current flows through coils of wire, a magnetic field is generated, producing an electromagnet. Ibig sabihin, kapag dumadaloy ang kuryente sa isang wire or sa isang conductor, tatandaan natin na nakakaproduce din ito ng magnetic field or ng magnetism. Let's have this picture for example. Kung nakikita ninyo, nakakonect tayo sa dalawang battery at merong switch at meron tayo ditong wire. Nang dumadaloy na ang kuryente, may kita ninyo na na-attract yung mga pins dito sa wire na to. So, anong indication nun? Kapag may dumadaloy na kuryente sa isang conductor, ibig sabihin ay nakaka-produce din ito ng magnetic field. At ayon ang rason kung bakit na-attract ang mga pins na to dito sa ating wire. For this lesson, we will answer these questions. What happens to the magnetic field when the strength of the current is increased? And what happens to the magnetic field when the direction of the current is reversed? Let us discover the answers as we go through with this lesson. In here, we have an experimental setup. And this is the experiment conducted by Orsted. Pag-aralan muna natin ang mga components ng experiment na to. Meron tayo ditong battery na nakakonect sa isang resistor at meron din tayong switch. Sa kaliwang bahagi, meron tayong dalawang compass. You have to take note that compass A is placed above the wire, while compass B is placed below the wire. When no current flows through X, Y, the compass needles point to the north. Parang ganito. Pero, ano kayang mangyayari kapag switch on natin at dumaloy na ang kuryente? This will be the effect. As you can see, once the current flows through the X and Y, the needle of compass A points to the east, while the needle of the compass B points to the west. Tatandaan ulit natin na ang compass A ay nakalagay sa taas ng wire. At ang compass B naman ay nakalagay sa ilalim ng wire. Kaya ang rason kung bakit magkaiba sila ng direction ng pointer. But what is the point of this experiment? Orsted found out that electricity or current flowing through a wire can also produce magnetic field. That's why the needle pointing to the north originally is now changed. Dahil sa experiment ni Orsted na ito, nalaman natin na may connection ang electricity at ang magnetism. And this is when the electromagnetism was born. The key point that we have to remember in here is that a current carrying conductor produces a magnetic field around it. All throughout this lesson, i-discuss natin o i-describe natin ang magnetic field line ng mga sumusunod. So meron tayong three cases. The first one is a conductor which is a straight wire. Second, a flat coil, and lastly, ang tinatawag nating solenoid. 
In this lesson, we will understand the magnetic patterns of the following cases. Para makita rin natin later on o ma-apply din natin yung concept sa electric motor. Let's start with around a straight wire. Consider a straight current carrying wire placed vertically, nakatayo, through a sheet of cardboard. And it looks like this. Kung may kita ninyo, ang direction ng current ay papataas as symbolizes by this pink arrow. And the magnetic field pattern that is produced by this straight wire is described as concentric circles. And it appears like this. Ganito ang itsura ng magnetic field ng isang current carrying straight wire. Tatandaan natin, the magnetic field is stronger closer to the wire. That's why the circles here are much closer. So therefore, signifies stronger magnetic field. And as it moves away from the wire, it has lesser magnetic field. So how can we predict the direction of the magnetic field in this scenario or in a straight wire? Esther, eh, bakit kailangan nating malaman ang direction? Dahil pag inaral na natin ng electric motor, mahalagang alam natin kung anong direction ng magnetic field. Upang malaman din natin kung paano nagpa-function or anong magiging movement ng electric motor natin. And for this case, we're going to use the so-called right hand grip rule. Itaas ang kanang kamay at gawin ito. Parang naka-thumbs up. As if we will hold the wire like this, tatandaan natin na ang thumb ay nagsisignify ng direction ng current. At sa example natin, it is going up. So, it is pointing upward. Now, when you check your fingernails, the direction of your fingernails, ganun yung magiging direction ng magnetic field. And in this case, when the current is upward, then the magnetic field is counterclockwise. Paano kaya kapag opposite or downward ang current? So, ipoposition natin ang thumb pababa. At may kita ninyo na ang fingers natin ay magmumove clockwise. And that will be the direction of the magnetic field. So, tatandaan ang right hand grip for a straight wire. For most of standardized tests or quizzes or some other references, they are using symbols just like this one, like a dot. And if you have this symbol, it means that the current is flowing out of the plane of the paper or towards you. So, ibig sabihin, ipoint natin ang thumb natin papunta sa atin. So, tatandaan lang, pag dot or O, out. Outward. E anong magiging magnetic field pattern natin kapag towards me or going out of the paper? Kung makikita ninyo, it is anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise. Para lang yang current moving upward. So, tinuro mo sa sarili mo ngayon. So, it is counterclockwise. And that is, again, the direction of the magnetic field. How about the other one? So, we use the symbol X. And it indicates that the current is flowing into the plane or away from you. So, we will just point our thumb away from us. Parang ganyan. So, kung may kita ninyo, ang direction ng daliri mo, pag ginawa mo to ay clockwise. So, parang downward lang na current, then 
I-twist mo lang na ganyan. So, they are clockwise. And it looks like this. We have to remember that the direction of the magnetic field of a current carrying wire reverses when the direction of the current is reversed. So, ito yung sagot dun sa isa sa mga tanong kanina. Tatandaan lang, pag pinalitan natin ang direction ng current, nagbabago din ang direction ng magnetic field. Second thing that we have to remember what if the current is increased? And this is the case. The current of the first wire is lesser than the second wire. And so, its magnetic field will look like this. Then for the wire with a stronger current, like this. Kung naaalala ninyo, pag mas malapit ang concentric circle, Sa isa't isa, or sa bawat isa, mas malakas ang magnetic field. Therefore, we can conclude that the strength of the magnetic field of a current carrying wire increases when the current is increased. Pag mas maraming kuryente na dumadaloy sa isang wire, mas malakas ang magnetism nito or magnetic field nito. So we are done with the magnetic field pattern around a straight wire. This time, let's have around a flat coil. Flat coil appears like this. So, meron tayong wire dito sa kaliwa at meron din sa kanan. So, it is described as coiled wire. Let's focus first on this side. So, let's label it as 1. In number one, the current is, based on the symbol, the current is moving inward or away from you. So, ituturo ninyo yung thumb ninyo palayo sa inyo. Therefore, the magnetic field is clockwise. Now, on the other side, Opposite naman. The current is pointing towards you. And as you see, it is now moving or the magnetic field is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. So therefore, in a flat coil, we have opposite sides. And their magnetic fields are also opposite. The question is, how can the magnetic field strength be increased. We have two ways. The magnetic field strength of a flat coil can be increased by first, increasing the current. So, tataasan natin ang kuryente or dadamihan natin ang kuryente na dumadaloy sa wire na ito. The second one is we add or increase the number of turns of the coil. Pag mas maraming turn ang coil, ibig sabihin, mas lumalakas ang magnetic field. And that is for the flat coil. So let's proceed to the last case for magnetic field pattern in a solenoid. And this is how a solenoid looks like. So it, it's like a wire with a lot of coils. And its magnetic field pattern is alike with a bar magnet. The solenoid has two holes, so you have to remember that. Just like the bar magnet, it has south and north pole. And it can be used as an electromagnet. So how can we predict the direction of the magnetic field in a solenoid. So we can also use the right-hand grip rule, but you have to listen very carefully. As we compare it with the right-hand grip rule applied for straight wire, wherein the thumb 
represents the direction of the current in the solenoid, the thumb will be positioned or represents the north pole of the solenoid. So you have to know first the north pole or which side is the north pole so that you can place your thumb properly. And so the direction of your other fingers would tell you the direction of the magnetic field. This time, how can we increase the magnetic field in a solenoid? So we have several ways. So the first one is still increasing the current. Second, we can also increase the number of turns per unit length of the solenoid. So the more turns we have, the stronger the magnetic field, just like the coil. However, in the solenoid, we have the third thing or step that we can do so that we can increase the magnetism. And that is the use of soft iron core, which is placed within the solenoid. And that's it. We are done. So again, this is just the part one of our lesson on electric motor. So please watch the second part of this lesson. See you again in my next speech blog. Bye-bye. God bless. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.